and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today friday the 17th of february we hope you're well we're sure you're looking forward to the weekend ahead it's mike smith seen asked go markets to take you around what's happening in markets today if we look at what happened overnight the u.s markets finished lower after hawkish fed members comments james bullard the st louis chairman was particularly hawkish as he usually is and on top of that, we've got slightly hotter than expected PPI and jobs data as well. That pushed the markets down already, even prior to the Fed members' comments. But those comments made for a sell-off in the last couple of hours, particularly. US futures are mildly negative in early Asian trading. And Asian indices are following that weak US lead. ASX is around about 0.5% lower. European equity futures are also pointing to a slightly higher open and their VIX moves slightly higher may retest the key 20 level if we get any more equity selling. The US dollar was the beneficiary of those comments. Of course, it's testing the top of the range as it was yesterday. So we've had the breach. It is nearing year to date highs. And consequently, of course, gold is moving the other direction. We're seeing it pause at around 1830 support after the previous day's sell off. It is holding its own in Asia today so far. Copper booked the trend a little bit in commodities and edged higher, nearing the top of a short-term range, turning around that 408 to 409 level. We move higher from there, we could see it move up around about 3% in the medium term if this buying continues. Oil is mildly weaker within its medium term range, testing 85 on the Brent crude CFD contract. We referenced Bitcoin's surge yesterday and moved up significantly to 24,000. We didn't get follow through. We saw some selling at the back end of the US session and that's continued in Asia. So we are seeing some profit taking on that big move earlier in the week. We don't see any reason to see it sell off significantly, but of course it is cryptos and therefore that could happen. Earnings season continues in Australia, the US and Europe, although we are nearing the back end of the US season. It is a quieter day to day today with German PPI and UK retail sales. Really the only significant numbers. We do have some US import and export pricing data out tonight, but the major moves are likely to be in the Euro and the GB pound, one would suspect, in the next few hours. A couple of charts of interest today. Uh, the Aussie US is looking significant. You can see there we've got a head and shoulders type of pattern. You can see the shoulder, the head, the shoulder there. And we are using the 200 EMA as the neckline. If we breach that, that could be significant. If we look at today's trading, you can see it's already slightly downwards. But if we look maybe on the 30 minute chart, you can see it is using that line at around about 38.50 as support, uh, as it did yesterday and the day before to some degree. So at a really critical level for the AUD, and it'd be interesting to see where next. Consequently, of course, there could be a bounce over the next to retest these peaks. If we fail to breach this, we'll see some buying coming in up to around about this 69 uh, level. So an interesting crossroads for the Aussie US. On the ASX, uh, A2 milk quarter this morning, this is post earnings. Uh, you can see there it's pushed apart against $7. That's a key level going forward. We look on a weekly chart, you can see how significant this is. And the first port of call would potentially be this 200 MA which is around and about 15% uh, up from where we are now. So one to watch, be a bit of a slow burn, but one to watch over the next few days and weeks. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.